All right, now if you're actually good in basic math, this should be a easy problem to solve without using a calculator. So let's take a look at the problem. We have three times eight minus six in parentheses plus 49 divided by seven. Okay, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct answer. The correct answer here is 13. Now, if you got this right and you did not use a calculator, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it looks like I forgot my basic math. Can you help me understand? Well, I definitely can. Okay, so here is our problem. And if we do a quick scan of the problem, we have multiplication, subtraction, addition, and division. Now these things here are called mathematical operations and I'm gonna assume uh, because we're doing this problem without a calculator that you understand how to multiply, subtract, add, and divide basic numbers. So the secret to getting this problem uh, correct is the right order we uh, do it in, okay? Now if we take different orders, in other words, if we do, uh, let's say for example, multiplication and then division, addition, subtraction, we're gonna come up with one answer or if we start with the division, and then multiplication, addition, and subtraction will come up with another answer. So there's only one correct path or series of steps to get this problem right. So we need to understand the correct order of operations, which means we need to understand PEMDAS. All right, so this is an acronym. Obviously, these letters stand for something. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so again, this is a checklist. You're going to go from left to right, and you're going to start here with P. So P stands for parentheses, okay? But really that means grouping symbols. So if you have brackets or even these type of squiggly brackets, that's where you're gonna start first. Now, obviously uh, every single math problem will not have parentheses or brackets, but if it does, like our problem here, that's where we're going to start. Okay, now one other thing about uh, parentheses is if you have parentheses inside of brackets, inside of other brackets like this, if that is a situation that you're facing, you're always gonna start with the innermost parentheses and work your way out. Okay, so the next thing on our checklist here is E. Now E stands for exponents, but uh, you can think of this as powers. So if you have two to the third power, this little three right here is called the exponent. Uh, the two is called the base, but two to the third power means take two and multiply it by itself three times. Whoops, not th uh, three times, I said three, I wrote three. Two times two times two is eight. Okay, so that's a simple illustration of powers and exponents. But to, again, not every single problem will have a power in it or an exponent. So you just continue to move forward on our checklist. Okay, so again, we have parentheses, we have exponents. Now, let me go ahead and tell you what the rest of these letters stand for. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, a stands for uh, addition, and S stands for subtraction. All right, so I got a pop quiz here for you. So 10 divided by two times five. Now without a calculator, what is the answer to this question? Now I know a lot of you are like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know the answer because I'm looking at your little checklist here. So let's see here, M is multiplication, that's gonna come next. So uh, two times five is 10, so you have 10 divided by 10, the answer is one. Well, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Now, I know a lot of you are looking at me like this. You're like, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? I'm following your checklist. You said, you know, do this thing from left to right. Well, that's not the way this works. Okay, so this is one of the most confused parts of the order of operations, and I'm gonna explain it right now. So the next step is MD, multiplication or division whatever you see first from left to right. So going back to our problem here, 10 divided by two times five, what do we see first from left to right? We see division. So 10 divided by two is five, so we have five times five, which is 25. All right, so that's the way you do this problem, and you can see how important uh, PEMDAS is, the correct order of operations, and addition and subtraction work the same way. So after you finish with all multiplication and division, you'll do any addition and subtraction that remains. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply PEMDAS to this problem. And again, the uh, actual operations are not too difficult. So here is our PEMDAS. So we're gonna uh, just kind of scan this checklist from left to right and ask ourselves, 
hey, do we have any parentheses? Well, obviously we do. So this is our first step. Okay, so we're going to take this one step at a time. So 8 minus 6 is what? Well, that's pretty easy. The answer is 2. So after we take that step, we just continue to evaluate our PEMDAS. So are there any more parentheses? Well, we have parentheses here, uh, parentheses here, but there's nothing more to do. There's just a number. So technically, you can even drop the parentheses. So this step is done. Now, are there any powers or exponents? No, so that's done. Do we have multiplication and division? Indeed, we do. Okay, so what do you think we should do right now? Well, we're going to do whatever we see first from left to right. So that would be multiplication. Now, technically, you could do both steps, and uh, this wouldn't uh, you know, harm the actual uh, correct answer. But let's just go ahead and uh, follow PEMDAS strictly. So the next step here is to do the multiplication first, because that's what we see from left to right. All right, so 3 times 2 is 6. So, uh, so now we have 6 plus 49 divided by 7. All right, so we are almost done. And now we have 6 plus 49 divided by 7. We need to think about PEMDAS. So what should we do next? Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so now we're down to addition and division. And anytime you want to know what step you should take next in a math problem, just reference PEMDAS. Okay, so here we have multiplication and division, and here we have addition and subtraction. And multiplication and division will always come first before any addition and subtraction. So the next thing we need to do is 49 divided by 7. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So 49 divided by 7, of course, is 7. And now we're down to 6 plus 7, which, of course, is 13. All right, so hopefully this little video was a nice review on uh, PEMDAS, which, of course, is the order of operations. So don't feel bad if you got this wrong, because a lot of people uh, don't really understand the order of operations as well as they should. But if you need additional review in basic mathematics, things like the order of operations, uh, fractions, decimals, etc., etc., check out these two courses. I'm going to leave links to those in uh, links to both of these in the description of this video. Now, the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a nice, quick, basic math review. But uh, if you want to review basic math and algebra and geometry and other things, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.